So we are in the Piedmont region of Italy with Iulius Umberta. And I have to tell you, I think this might be my favorite Barbera I've ever had, period. <laughs> and I love Barbera. I've had a lot of Barbera in my life, but this one, especially at the price that it's at, it's like retails for $22.95. Amazing. Uh, so let's talk about why. So um, this is, like I said, from the Piedmont region, made by Fabrizio Iuli. Uh, that's where the name comes from. And uh, he works with traditional grapes from there, but Barbera is his favorite. Um, this one is his, you know, entry level, everyday drinking Barbera. He says, you know, don't even worry about what you pair with it. It's just supposed to be tasty and fun. Uh, but we'll talk about what I would pair with in a minute. Um, so he leaves it on the skins for about three weeks and he doesn't put too much oak on it, which I think is what, or I think there's just a teeny bit of oak, but it's neutral. Um, and I think that is one of the reasons why I like it so much. So the color is pretty dark, um, not too much in variation, just a little bit. What's the year in it? 2020. So it has just a tiny bit of time on it so far. On the nose, oh my God, it just smells so good. <laughs> so it's very juicy, um, but it's a little bit deep. It's like, but it's still, it's more red than it is black. It's like raspberries, strawberries, maybe a little bit of like a rhubarb even um, down here. More like dark cherries. It's getting very like silky down here and feels very smooth. I haven't tried, oh, I've tried it, but I haven't tried it yet, but I know that's what it's gonna also reflect. Oh my gosh, it just smells, it honestly smells like a little bit like chocolate too. Like I just wanna eat the slime. All right, let's try it. Oh my gosh, it's just beautiful. So it's got this perfect mouth feel. It feels very luxurious, honestly. I think that's because I said it's a bit silky. Um, the tannin is there and so well integrated, like you feel it. Um, but I think that's also probably why he said, don't even worry about pairing it because it's not like, it's a hefty red wine, it's 14.5%, but it's so perfectly structured that it doesn't need food. Like it's delicious on its own. Um, I'm happy to put some food with it, of course, but because like, it doesn't need it to make it really shine. Um, wow, that's just a really tasty Barbera. So knowing this about it, it's like heavier. It's a little bit like deep. Um, I like the idea of this with like game. I like the idea of this with like duck or venison. If you're into that, um, you could also go with like meatball pasta. We're talking about Italian food here. Like bolognese would be perfect. Um, it's it's, I don't even want to say it's a traditional Italian wine because it tastes so much better than any traditional Italian wine, but it is. It would go with any type of um, style of Italian food, which everyone normally just thinks like pasta, pizza, the carb aspect of it, but also, you know, broaden that to the, um, to the way that Italians do meat. And I think that that could be really great here too. So I hope you love it as much as I do. It's such a good Barbera. Enjoy.